Hi, my name is Lily. I'm a sophomore and I use she, her pronouns. I'm Nola. I'm a sophomore and I use she, her pronouns. And welcome to Ask an LY. In this series, we'll be taking you around campus and talking about the different programs Lick has to offer, as well as introducing you to the community by interviewing students and teachers. This week, we will be talking to Lick Wilmerding's math department. Hi, welcome to Lick. Let's go. Annie Mahalchik, Ms. Mahalchik, Math Department Chair. Gigi Torres, Ms. Torres. I teach currently Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Deductive Geometry. Hi, my name is Mr. Chen, and this is my ninth year at Lick Wilmer. Math at Lick is really centers around growth mindset and that all students can learn math, which I fully believe that that's, that's definitely the case. From a student perspective, um, the experience is really around making sense rather than um, just memorizing formulas. We really expect our students to understand deeply what they're learning because then we, f we feel that that will take them you know, um, a lot further in their math career and beyond. Uh, students will need to persist with challenges and seek multiple approaches in order to become uh, more flexible and strategic problem solvers. And in order to do that, students will really need to learn how to reflect and learn from their mistakes um, with the understanding that they're an opportunity for growth. It is a full contact, full action, fully involved process. You are in class and you're doing work in a collaborative manner with your classmates. It is a foundational course in which you are building knowledge as you're going along. It is not the teacher lecturing at you. It is you working and creating knowledge for yourself with your group and therefore applying your knowledge into unique and new situations. Very motivated. My hope is to support them in their, and you know, to reach their goals. The motivator itself though can vary depending on the motivator or motivators. Um, the motivation shows up in different ways at the school. Students are very motivated. They are excited to work with different people at different times. It's both a combination of working in class on the problems and because you're with your friends or with new people, you're meeting them and you're building relationships across classes, across uh, and across people with people who you've never met. Um, our goal, as I said before, is to have students become more flexible and strategic problem solvers and to approach math as a way of thinking, not just getting an answer, and developing a learning mindset as um, reflection helps that process. Um, and we hope that that will allow students to move into the world and the community with confidence and compassion to make positive change. I think about our mathematical thinking practices and our habits of mind, really focusing on inquiry, um, asking questions, collaboration, persistence. I feel like the math department has done a really good job in ensuring that the way that we teach in our curriculum is in alignment with the school's mission. We in the math department are definitely a part of the head what do the what do all these symbols mean? They are a language, and we're teaching you how to work with those languages. Um, we have two courses at Lick Wilmerding that are culmination courses. They're what we call the terminal courses. They're calculus, and they are statistics. These are terminal courses, and part of the project in each of those is that you have to face out to the community and use math and use it in different ways to serve the community. Uh, collaborative. Fun. Challenging. Um, it's all about the how and why here, um, seeking new perspectives and making connections to gain a deeper understanding. Um, Department-wise, I really want everybody to know that we're an incredibly supportive team and we love working with students, even the ones that aren't in our classes, um, outside of class, like in Math Cafe and such. You have to be willing to learn from mistakes 
and draw off of other students, your peers thinking and being, you know, like really willing to take a risk and share your being, you know, sharing your thinking verbally. You are in a safe space in a mathematics classroom. Your teacher is going to give you a place where you can take chances and you will not be penalized and you will not be in any way looked down upon for making efforts to try. That you're not going to, that you're not expected to know things right away. And that you're going to learn over time and that by the time after four years, you're going to know a lot more than you left. Be open to new perspectives, um, invite voices in. There are usually multiple approaches to a problem and to understand as many possible that are out there allows you to find joy and curiosity with math specifically. Um, know that you'll be pushed to take risks. And most of all, if you come to Lick, know that you belong here and the school will do as much as possible to support you throughout your career. Don't believe always that moving faster is better. Students who are on level and where they're supposed to be oftentimes are more capable and able to solve harder problems. Facts are not what thinking in math is all about. If you come to Lick, I just want to say that you are going to be part of a very privileged community. The majority of the math students at this school really thrive and grow in their learning. So um, you'll be lucky to come to Lick and learn. Thank you for watching this year's first Ask an LY video. We hope you enjoyed meeting some teachers. If you have any questions you would like answered, please email us at admissions at lwhs.org or fill out the form in the description. You can also follow us on Instagram at lwhslife or lick.wilberding. If you like this video, please smash that like button and watch our previous Ask an LY. And get hyped for more fire videos coming next month.